Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Automation Hub Sathak and uh, I want to show you something in Selenium Dev website. Things have changed. Uh, when you go to Selenium Dev, go to the download section. <clears throat> Earlier, the latest stable version was 3.141.59. Now, the latest stable version which is coming up is 4.0.0. So, you download this particular jar file with the selenium server jar file which will have close to 20.6 mb which will cover almost everything in case you want to go to the java selenium lang clients and webdriver language bindings the java language binding if you even try to download this uh, it's almost all the same uh, you can right click open link in new tab and this will again get downloaded in a zipped format there will be so many jar files uh, there is a question which people generally tend to ask me ki, what if I only use the selenium server 4.0.0 jar file and I use uh, the complete uh, selenium package jar file so what will happen so what I'll do is I'll create um, I'll create a new I'll go into new workspace uh, switch workspace so let me switch to a different workplace okay and then uh, sorry different workspace and then I will show you how I'll create two different projects I will add selenium server jar file and the packaged jar file which will clarify certain thing and this video is intended to people who are learning uh, selenium for the very first time it is not for people those who are experienced they might choose to skip watching this video uh, so let's say for example i create a java project i'll, I'll create uh, project one i'll finish it i'll uh, create another project another java project i'll create project two and in the first project so we have downloaded this selenium jar file right a selenium server standalone jar file i'll import this one for this particular thing so i'll go to the project one properties java build path libraries add external jars i'll go to my downloads and i'll add this open apply and close now for project one i have this one now before i go to project two I'll go to my download section. I have this zipped file. I'll cut it and I have created uh, in my D drive. I have created a Selenium automation folder. I have created a jar files folder. I'll paste it over here. For people, those who want to do in this fashion, this is also possible. You extract it over here. There are certain things which uh, you need to understand. Uh, one, one, the following file already exists. So what you need to do is when you are trying to do this kind of a thing, please first and foremost remove the zip file. Okay, and then remove all these files which are not dot jar extensions. Remove this, then go inside the lib folder, copy everything, each and every jar, cut it, come back and put it in this particular folder itself. And this lib folder, you delete it. So now you have all the jar files at one particular path location. You do not have multiple folders to go into. So now for the second project, I'll go new. I'll go to properties, sorry, project to properties. I'll go to Java, add external jars. And here I'll go to D drive, cell name automation, jar files. I'll select all of it, open, apply and close. So now if I expand this, the reference libraries for a second project are these many. The reference library for the first project is this. Will I see certain deviation in my code with respect to this? So let me just create a simple package. com.project1.automation uh, and for uh, this I will create com. 
project two dot automation. So this one is having. Uh, let me create a class which says automation with Selenium standalone server jar file. And this one, I'll create a new class with. Uh, automation uh, what name will I give automation underscore selenium complete jar package file that is something which I'll give it's just a naming convention and not a big deal so what what changes do I see in both the things let's say for example I'll just write system dot set property web driver dot chrome dot driver in this case and I'll give the path of the Chrome driver executable, which I have kept here in Selenium Automation browser drivers. I have kept it here. I'll go ahead and I'll paste it. Append by Chrome driver dot spelling mistake Chrome driver dot exe. I'll close this task list. I don't need them. And I'll write here web driver driver equal to new chrome driver driver equals driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and I'll write driver dot get google.co dot in the same thing I'll copy paste for the other class first I'll run this class with the selenium standalone server jar file only it works okay now I'll go with this class with all the packages which are there. This one too will work fine. So now the question comes, which one should I use? Okay, I will do a small deviation over here. In the first one, if I write here, before I go for this, if I write here driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait, I'll let's say I'll 10 use 10. There is a certain change you might observe. Now they are asking me to add suppress warnings because of a deprecation of implicitly wait command in the latest 4.0 version. This also remains true for this. So there are a lot of things in 4.0.0 which has been deprecated. We need to see what all. I have not checked all that out. But now the question comes back again. Should I be using a Selenium standalone server Java file which I can directly get it from the latest stable version or should I go and get the language binding and do this particular uh, option of going to creating a jar files folder and extracting all the jar files at one location will this give me an edge over that one particular jar file no not much so you can go ahead and download this particular uh, latest stable version just one particular jar file which will cover almost everything what this particular jar file has so if you go ahead and expand this particular package uh, this you will have a lot of packages if you expand this jar file you will literally have all those packages you know there are everything is consolidated in one it makes your life much more easier and simpler so this video is for the ones those who get confused with these particular patterns which one to choose which one not to you can go ahead and choose the selenium server standalone 
that is what the meaning is stand alone it 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 stands alone it's like a one man army kind of a thing but it actually has everything that this has it is up to you you can use it and you can run it this should work absolutely fine this video is predominantly for the ones who are new into automation just getting into the groove not for experienced people they may choose to use maven project anyways thank you so much this was just a small video thank you so much sathya here signing off